Hey guys, if we have a circle and we draw a diameter through it, we pick any point at random and connect two cords going to that point. Whenever this point or vertex is on the circumference of the circle and the longest side of the triangle is the diameter, it will always form a right triangle. All of these are right triangles. No matter where I put the point, they're all going to be right triangles. You can even tell right here, it really looks like a right triangle because it's perfectly horizontal and vertical that it's a right angle. And we can prove this. Let's choose an arbitrary point like this. So all we have to do to prove it's a right triangle is prove that this angle right here is a right angle. So first, let's draw the diameter from this vertex through the center to the other side of the circle. And let's call this angle right here A, and we'll call this angle right here B. I'm saying that A plus B equals 90. We'll put a question mark for now because we don't know for a fact that it's true. Let's take a look at these two segments right here. Each of them are a radius of the circle, which means they're equal to each other. That means that this triangle right here is an isosceles triangle. Anytime you have a triangle with two sides congruent, the angles opposite those sides will also be congruent. So we know this angle right here is also A. Exact same thing is happening over here. This is an isosceles triangle, so we know this angle right here is also B. Next, let's look at this angle right here. We'll call it X, and then we'll call this other one Y. These two angles make a linear pair, so they're going to add to 180 degrees. So we can say X plus Y equals 180. But these two angles are called vertical angles, and they're also equal to each other, so we can call this angle X inside here. For the same reason, these two angles are equal to each other. They're both vertical angles, so this is Y degrees inside here. Now let's look at this triangle right here. We know these three angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So we can say A plus A plus Y equals 180. Same thing in this triangle. So we can say B plus B plus X equals 180. Now we can clean this up. A plus A is the same thing as 2A and B plus B is the same thing as 2B. So what are we going to do next? Let's take these two equations and add them together. 180 plus 180 gives us 360. And then 2A plus Y plus 2B plus X is 2A plus Y plus 2B plus X. And we can clean this up. Then by the commutative property of addition, we can rearrange these. Put the X and Y together and we'll recognize that X plus Y is the same same thing as this x plus y. So we can plug in 180 for the x plus y, and then everything else is just brought down. We subtract 180 from both sides. 360 minus 180 is 180. This stuff goes away, so we just bring down the 2a plus 2b. Scoot it over. We can divide both sides by 2. 2a plus 2b divided by 2. We divide each of these by 2, which gives us a plus b. And then 180 divided by 2 is 90. And now look at what we have. a plus b equals 90. That is what we were trying to prove. So now we can get rid of this question mark because we know it's true, and we can put a box around them. a plus b is this angle right up here. So no matter where we put the point, all of these are going to be right triangles. And this is the reason why. How exciting.